Hello, oh, good weekend to all. It's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for Monday's trading, the 18th of July 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com, Android, and you can download the app at the uh, Google Play <coughs> and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, certainly uh, gain access there. Okay. Okay, so again, looking at the U.S. markets in terms of uh, analysis, first and foremost, fundamentals. Fundamentals in terms of market price action. We are going to be focusing on the Turkish coup and the French terrorist incident. They, they really are the two um, important fundamental risk factors for uh, for Monday's trading session. So certainly expect a gap down. Uh, and what happens after that gap really is a question, given the fact that BOJ... Uh, QE uh, bazooka certainly is in full firing mode at present and uh, the markets or these um, algos are, 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 are certainly front running that additional QE uh, and certainly all eyes will remain that potential QE so whether or not that uh, gap is neutralized thereafter uh, the actual uh, Turkish coup gap or the uh, French terrorist incident gap is neutralized that certainly is going to be an interesting uh, uh, situation and scenario that one that we need to keep a, a keen eye out for okay Okay, so uh, in terms of the markets, let's look at the uh, Nasdaq first and foremost, uh, given the fact that we know that you are looking for a gap lower. Okay, so let's start off with the daily chart. The, the uh, Nasdaq, you can see here, gap for resistance, certainly indicating weakness, looking for a move lower. 60-minute chart on the French, uh, the Nasdaq itself, obviously holding that gap level. Uh, no real concerted new high, so therefore looking for a lower high and a lower low. Okay. Uh, in terms of the gap down, you are looking for a gap down on, on, on Monday's trading session, given the uh, situation in uh, in Turkey and obviously France. Looking at gap feel. 4655, 4660-4565, first of all. Then you're looking at uh, 4555. So again, that's a gap fill. And you have gap fill at 4530. So all those zones are, are active, okay? So 455, uh, 4565, 455 and 4530 looking for gap filled below. So the Nasdaq certainly remains weak, okay? Looking at the Dow Jones now, the weekly chart you can see is off the, um, certainly off to the races, okay? So again, can the uh, situation in Turkey and France, terrorism and obviously political instability in, in, in Turkey trigger a risk aversion trade and, and cause this breakout here to be a fake out? That's the question you need to ask this week as traders. So is this a true breakout or is it a fake out? Okay, so again, you need to ask that question. Okay, so again, all those that have bought the uh, the breakout, okay, certainly will be tested. Okay, daily chart, you can see on the Dow itself, again, looking to retest the breakout level. And the key will be the breakout level. Will this market hold that breakout level and keep uh, signaling the buyers to enter? Or will it basically pause? That's the question. Okay. 60 minute chart the Dow and the, 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 the Dow itself so it looks exhausted so it looks exhausted no convincing higher highs okay looking at the S&P 500 now a daily chart is a doji candle even though we've broken out really is it a breakout or a fake out that's the question you need to ask yourself you can look at it on the weekly chart as well is that a breakout or a fake out so again into new highs are those new highs justified and will certainly be tested this week in terms of the S&P 500, you um, basically have gaps here at 2150, then you have a gap 2136, and then the previous resistance equals support tests at 2120, 2110, and then obviously you've got gap fill at 2090, so 2090 region. So again, that's going to be interesting how the market reacts there, okay? It's going to be very interesting how the market reacts, okay? Okay, so again, keep an eye on that uh, situation. Okay, and looking for gap fill below as well. Okay, right. In terms of the 10 minute chart of the S&P, you're looking at gap fill first and foremost. So as well, again, don't be surprised that gap closed at 2150. And then the ideal gap is looking to close at 2138, given the, uh, the concerns over terrorism and obviously the uh, potential military coup in Turkey. So again, looking for a risk off trade 2170 certainly was tested twice 
intraday on Friday and then rejected eventually and the market sold off okay so quite a vicious sell off like that as well okay so again looking for weakness here on the S&P 500 uh, Russell 2000 again it's important to look at the Russell as always looking at the daily chart the Russell first and foremost and you can certainly see that we're holding resistance into gap fill so gap fill resistance certainly is holding well the 60 minute chart you certainly have a potential dual top scenario here okay you have unfilled gaps below 118.5 116.7 and then 114.2 so again uh, watch out for those zones okay so certainly watch out for those zones and looking for gap fill below okay right okay so that certainly seems to be the uh, the actual uh, resistance zones in terms of the um, the actual uh, VIX itself, certainly look for the VIX to certainly bounce here now, looking to uh, retest and take out the previous uh, uh, low. The low itself uh, will be interesting because this is a breakout below and may well be considered as a fake out and could certainly trigger a quite a powerful short squeeze. OK, so in the VIX itself, the Nikkei chart itself was into gap fill resistance. OK, so that was signaling to you risk aversion. OK, in terms of the Shanghai as well. That was certainly indicating risk off given the fact that we're back up to that 200 MA and horizontal resistance as well. In terms of oil, really, that's really going to be the only mover higher. Okay, oil price is certainly looking to move higher. The daily chart was already uh, building potential support. You are looking to potentially pop up to 48, 49.50 now. And looking at, uh, this is a risk off trade, by the way. This doesn't actually help commodities. It actually uh, it hurts commodities. So bear that in mind, okay, with regards to the Turkish Q. So again, looking for weakness, folks, looking for weakness, looking at the financials now for US markets. You can see the financials are into gap fill resistance, horizontal resistance, and therefore indicating weakness. The energy sector was into gap fill resistance, horizontal resistance, it's signaling weakness. So the USD JPY as well, the daily chart, the USD JPY, you can see previous support equals resistance, indicating risk aversion. So you are going to see the yen, the CHF and the dollar certainly bid uh, Sunday night. And the oil price is spiking higher on the lack of or fear of supply and uh, equity markets being hit due to the political uncertainty and the fear. OK, I think that's a good summation of US markets. So looking for weakness and then we'll keep an eye on BOJ or keep an eye on the USD, JPY and Yen uh, and to see whether the uh, BOJ QE is, uh, trade is triggered back again. Goodbye now, folks. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25 percent bonus. Goodbye. Now.